I got my Amazon welcome box in this week and I wanted to show you guys all about what's in my welcome box. So this is the Amazon welcome box. I thought it was really cute because it, you know, is like got snowflakes on it and it says like welcome and it was sitting right in front of my door like when I got up today. So I thought it was so cute that it was there and that it's like snow themed and everything because it's winter time. So I just thought that was so sweet. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously I'm doing this like unboxing for you guys. I'll have another video, probably just like another two week update like I've been doing just because things aren't like happening as crazily as they were in the beginning of my pregnancy now that it's like the second half of my pregnancy. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys all about what's in my welcome box. So without further ado, let's dive in. So for those wondering, yes, I did have a baby registry on uh, Amazon, which is why I got this awesome box. You need a registry and then you need to purchase certain dollar amount off of it or someone else needs to and then you have to have a prime membership so when you do all of those things you get your welcome box so oh so cute so it comes like this when you first open it it's like got pretty paper and stuff enjoy these complimentary samples it says all right let's see first thing is two miracles inside munchkin latch uh, okay, two miracles inside? Like, that's kind of a weird phrase to use. Er, okay, so these are adjustable fit nursing pads. Interesting. Okay, we've got, oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at guys. Sorry, I know it's super bright in here because I have my my box light on and it's bright outside, but I didn't want to have like a dark video. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Wow, but look at the hedgehog. Isn't that so cute? So this is a muslin swaddle uh, from Swaddle Designs. It's super, super soft. <clears throat> that is so sweet. I love the hedgehogs, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, love it. And I love that everything in this box looks gender neutral because, as you guys know, we're not finding out our gender. So it's kind of nice having that. Oh, look at this. A little crinkle toy. So, snuggle and teeth. Oh, because it's got little teething guys for feet. And it's like a crinkle toy. And it's soft and snuggly. What I've been doing, by the way, with these guys is because you can't like put them it says you can't put them in your washing machine or whatever anything you can put in a washing machine i've been putting in a washing machine anything you can disinfect with like disinfectant like i use uh my own diy like alcohol spray basically and like water to wash it off um anything you can't do that with that's open like this where i'm like someone else's hand has grabbed this and i don't feel comfortable like having maybe put their mouth on this yet is I put it in our deep freezer for about two days. It is a black baggie and that should kill off any bacteria that's living on this. And it's kind of like not the best solution, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> so it gives me a little peace of mind. And then another oven bottle. This is too funny, guys. I've been getting oven bottles from everybody. Like, I didn't even register for them. I think ovens is like perfectly fine. I mean, I'm a baby nurse. I have seen every kind of bottle on the market that exists, including the one that looks like a boob. I actually have that one. Anyways, um, but what's funny is like my sister-in-law gave me her breast pump and I told her, I was like, well, I'm getting a breast pump from our insurance too and it's brand new, so I'll just like use that. And she's like, well, you can still have mine if you have any interest. So what I did is I'm using hers. I like sterilized everything and I'm putting it in our car so that like if I'm out and about and like completely forget I can pump on the go. Um, but anyways she had an oven pump and so she had a ton of oven bottles so she gave me all those and then there's this other mom that's in our neighborhood that was like oh I have free baby bottles like do you want them and I'm like sure why not you can never have too many and it was this giant pack of oven bottles and then there was another registry I forget if it was 
Target, it might be Target, because I originally registered at Target and then I had so many issues with their website. Sorry, Target. Love you, but your website's kind of junk. I had so many issues with their website, I decided not to register there anymore, so I shut it down. But I did get their little, like, welcome bag. And um, it also had an oven bottle in it, so I'm like, what is going on here? Because my, the one, the bottles I wound up registering for were the MAM bottles because they self-sterilize, which is really, really cool. And I've used them a lot with families, and so I trust them. I've also used ovens. I just think it's funny that I just keep getting these. And I don't have an issue with them. Um, I just don't like that they, that a lot of them do not have the, um, like, airflow things. There's, like, this anti-colic airflow thing that a lot of bottles have now that prevents like your baby from having suction in their bottle when they're sucking on it. And so that's kind of the bottles I'm always looking for and ovens usually don't. Some of the modern oven nipples do. So I could be wrong. I'll have to look at this bottle and give it a good once over and figure it out. But <laughs> anyways, um, and then I have a little Pampers welcome thing. Oh, it's like this really cute little like clutch that's made out of fabric so you can reuse it and then inside it says hello mommy let Pampers help you get what you need to welcome your newest member of the family so it's telling me to register with Pampers but I'm cloth diapering so that's kind of not very needed and then we've got <laughs> six wipes really Pampers six Okay, well, that's interesting. Is it bad that I kind of feel like this is a waste of plastic for six wipes? Like, okay, Pampers. Um, and one diaper. <laughs> it's kind of like they want me to try out their diapers, but it's like one diaper and six wipes. That is literally one diaper change. <laughs> Anyways, hey, I can't complain. I got this stuff for free. So I just think that that's kind of funny because um, some of the other sample packs I've gotten, like I got an Honest in my Target bag, my Target registry welcome bag. I got Honest Company stuff and they had like four Honest Company diapers in there and like a whole thing of like a 30 pack of wipes. And I was like, hey, that's awesome. So it's just making me laugh that Pampers like spent apparently tons of money on this little baggity bag and, <laughs> and it's actually like one diaper. Um, but I do really like this bag. I actually just got a notification that the diaper bag I ordered is available for pickup at my UPS drop-off location, which is like in our town center. Um, and so I'm excited to get that all packed up pretty soon. And I do like this bag. It's kind of got two pouches and stuff. This might be handy for like putting the disposables in because we are cloth diapering, but it might be handy to like bring around some disposables just in case. And so that might be a cute way to do it. So, why not? Pretty good. And then, good old Amazon, a giant pack of wipes. Now that is what I'm talking about. Yay, way to be Amazon. This is amazing. So these are sensitive wipes, and it's a giant pack that I got for free, and this is an 80 count. Now that is what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't expect to get this from everybody or get this from like all the companies, but like, way to be Amazon. I wonder if they saw like that tiny packaging from Pampers and like felt bad and were like, six wipes. Hmm, <laughs> we'll throw in a giant thing of wipes. So that's just hilarious. And then a little tiny thing of Aquaphor, or oh, no, sorry, Aveeno and a tiny little thing of aqua for. So that is my entire welcome package. Some cute stuff in there, some really good stuff. I think my favorite is definitely, I love the little toy. I love infant toys so much, guys. And like, they get beat up so fast. So even the friends and family that we've had like giving us baby stuff, they don't usually save their infant toys because <laughs> they get so beaten up. Um, and so it's been really a joy to be able to like, get some infant toys myself like we went through the baby's RS aisle and like registered for a bunch of toys and it was just really fun and so I think that's awesome of course I love these swaddles these are great I um, already have a couple of them so this is amazing I definitely love the hedgehog this is epic <laughs> I mean even though we're using cloth diapers 
the first at least 10 days we're going to be using disposables because you want all the meconium to be out of their system so you don't like permanently stain your cloth diapers. Um, so this is going to be super handy because if you're using this disposable diaper it's like if you have the wipes anyways you might as well just use them. And then this in my opinion is a little like wah wah but that's okay that's okay. Pampers gave it a go they put something in there. I think it's awesome that I got a full size bottle that's always great like I said I have a million ovens but it's a free bottle why not like that's amazing that's awesome. And then I did like the little Pampers bag. I think that's pretty cute and I'll actually be able to use that. And then these two random nursing uh, pads in here are just like kind of random, but okay. <laughs> like what are you gonna do with two nursing pads? You literally use that once, so. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. I just feel bad because there's so much packaging for like such a small item. Um, and I feel like weird that they're calling it two miracles inside like why would you say that to a pregnant or nursing woman like her miracle is her baby why would you call your nursing pads miracles that just seems a little little um, eccentric anyways or whatever you want to call it a little extreme um <laughs> anyways I mean I can't complain all this stuff was free I just had to register on Amazon which I was gonna do anyways because everyone was like oh my gosh register on Amazon because then if there's people that like can't come to your baby shower or live far away, they can just click a button and it's done. So I think that that's awesome. Registered anyways, and someone already bought like the certain qualifying amount of purchase items you have to do to get your welcome box. And then I think I just had to made sure I had enough things on my registry, which I did. And then I also had to have Prime. So I did all those things and I got my welcome box for free, which is amazing. So I really can't complain, guys. Um, but that's it for now guys. If you have any questions about Amazon registry or what we're doing for our registry or the welcome box, just leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.